Hey, Blockheads, this is DJ AKV Amanda Knight, and I'm here to let you know that my so called whatever podcast and No More Games Radio have joined forces. Listen to No More Games Radio on Sundays at 2 p.m. for your favorite episodes of my so called whatever podcast and maybe a live episode? Who knows? Tune in to my so-called whatever podcast for upcoming No More Games radio features and exclusive stories from our staff and DJs. And as always, follow us on social media at No More Games Radio and at my so-called whatever. Hang tough! Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My soul could whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, and KOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom! And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Hey Brooke Hey Nikki This is so weird This is weird, we're like together Yeah, we're like outside If you My, hear the pool The pool filter is going I actually went in the pool You did twice. go in the pool I went in yesterday, it was a little cold Yeah, I have not been in the pool yet it's Actually, the, our stairs aren't in yet, so oh, okay. nobody's been in the pool yet. Right. right. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to put them in. I have my stairs right down there, but the cost of lumber is insane. My my stairs are down there, like out, outside the. Thing. Oh, I think I've seen them. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, so we were gonna have our deck re- done, so we right. could, and like because of covid like lumber is like it's through the roof right it's so ridiculous we're not doing that this summer so we're gonna have Makes one sense. more summer that we have to but we're actually gonna cut this out so we have stairs right um so we just have to have the guy come and cut the stairs yeah. so anyway yeah i was you guys can't see what i'm talking about but nope it's it's all good so um lots to talk about yeah. There was a couple things I wanted to talk about. I can't remember them right now, but I was like, new I've kids related? A... It was new kids related. Oh, this one. Someone in our group, in our Facebook group, posted this picture. Yes. <laughs> oh. If you guys are in the group, MG. you already know the picture. Like, you have to, you had to have seen it. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you. Like, I saw it and I miss a lot of things. I am not, like, in, on Facebook that much. And I saw it, and it was glorious. Oh, my gosh. That is, like, I love Joe. Everybody knows that. Right, I love right, him. Right. Okay? But late 90s Joe? That was, like, the pinnacle. Yes. It's, like, ho. Oh. Whoa. Whoosh. Fire. <laughs> Brick is laughing. Yes. It was a very, very fine picture. It was. So. And, like, if you, can you imagine running into him in that era? First, I would have died. I would have died. Can you imagine running into a guy that looked like that? That, like, if Joey, if Joey McIntyre wasn't Joey McIntyre, right? Do you know what I mean? Right. But you just like saw this guy. I would die in like '98. Yes, that is my. He is, you would have been like that that's is my, my type. type. That's, that's my type. type. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So yeah, and I think it's like 69 days until Fenway. I think. Because I think New Kids posted yesterday or oh, the I day that, before. I thought it was today. I thought it was this morning. Oh, was it today? Okay, so 70 days till Fenway. I thought it was this morning. It, I could be wrong. We're going to keep the countdown going until we're at Fenway. Right. We'll be close anyway. Right. Right. I, I need to put it in my countdown app and then I'll have an so exact wait, number. If today is 70 and it's Friday. Yeah. So when this comes out on Monday, happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. It'll be what? 66 days? Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. It's anyway, it's close. It's it's creeping upon us and it's very wait. exciting. I, I can't, can't wait. wait to go. 
you know, we're going to, we're actually going to, I thought we were going to stay one day, but we're staying two. Yeah. So I'm excited. We're staying Thursday night and Friday night. Right. I now have it correct. Yes. And, and we're going to see some friends yes. and have some good times. Yeah. Have some drinks. Have some drinks. It'll be, it'll be fun. Like, it'll I'm going to have, I'm going to have a cocaine needed. lady. Cocaine lady. You're going to have cocaine lady. So the drink. L- ladies. Yes. Make sure you heard the lady part. Yeah. I don't know. No cocaine. No cocaine. You are. No <laughs> cocaine for me. <laughs> um, But it'll be a lot of fun and uh, much long awaited. Much yes. needed. I can't wait to see weekend. all you guys. I can't wait to see you. Yay. Yay. All right. So um, I think that that was it. I think. So we want to intro. Yeah, let's intro. All right, we'll intro. And then if we think of it, we'll just say it. Okay, sounds good. This is Brooke. And this is Nikki. And this is my so-called whatever. Hello, welcome. And, um, oh, I hear some traffic going by. Oh, yes. Again, we're outside. Right, right. So we have some more prompt stories. Yeah. This is, what, the third and final installment, I believe. This is the third and final. Yeah. And it's been great. It's prom season still. I think tonight is prom Mm -hmm. for some schools around here, I think. I think. Um, so, and then for some, it's like graduation. So yes, it is yeah. wrapping up. It is. Things are wrapping up. My daughter is going to be a sophomore in That's high school. That's insane. <laughs> that is like, stop the a insanity. Sophomore. Susan Powder. Sopho- What'd you just say? I said, stop the insanity. Susan Powder. Oh yeah. I remember her. She's <laughs> the one with the shaved head, right? Yes. It was like super, super like short. Yes. And, and bleached. bleached. Yeah. Yeah. Stop the insanity. A sophomore. A sophomore. So real quick, when... I played basketball. We had this guy that was actually our gym teacher in um, middle school, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. And he would do the announcements. So he would like announce everybody coming in, you know, that's going to play the game. He'd announce everybody. Right. And so if you were a sophomore, he'd go, and a sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> sophomore. It's a main accent. So it's more like sophomore. <laughs> and he would say like, Nikki and my last name. My old last name. Your old last name. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki McIntyre. Nikki McIntyre it is. <laughs> um, so, should we get into yeah, the stories? Yeah, let's do it. You want to yeah. read the first one? I absolutely do, because... This I, is a special one. This is a special one, because I feel like... I think, though... I, I didn't read all of it, but I think that I was actually at one of these proms with her. Because it's Jerusha's prom stories. So if you guys don't know, Jerusha um, started listening to our podcast like right Early on, out, out right, of the gate, right out of the gate. And um, she, we had clues like to where we lived. And she was like, wait a second, are you guys from Bangor? And I was mortified. Do you remember me yes. calling you? I'm like, oh my God, I'm mortified. I was even more mortified when Alyssa was like, I know who you're talking about, Aaron. You've Bush. got mail. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get to bleep that out, his last name. That's funny though. So um yeah, so Jerusha and I were actually at the same prom together. One of these. So I'll go ahead and read these. Hi Brooke and Nikki. Back in the day I went to four proms with the same date, nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety eight. That's amazing. I will start with my own junior prom in nineteen ninety six. Our school had a separate prom for juniors and seniors. Same with Britain. They have a junior and a senior prom. Oh, really? Prom. That's yep. cool. Um, they're not separate, though. They're together. Yeah. Well, at least for now, because of COVID. Junior prom happened in March and was after our junior exhibition. So do you remember Junior X? I remember Junior X. Yeah. I, I got the tail end of Junior X because my date was late. Um, with jun- his top hat. Yes, with his top hat and cane. And cane. Oh, God. Junior X was a talent show of sorts for the junior class. There was always a girls and boys chorus line and a variety of bands, plays, and dances. As a matter of fact, I don't think she's going to mention it here, but if you guys know Howie Day, he performed at the Junior X that I went to. Yes. If you guys know, he was, um, what's that song? You and I collide. Collide. Yeah. He was like a one-hit wonder. He was. Circa... 2006? 
Oh no, I think it was before that. Don't was you? it earlier than that? I think it was like. Has it two, been that long? Yeah, I think it was like 2001, hey 2002. Girl. Yeah. I feel old. Yeah, I even want to say it was like, yeah, it was like maybe 2002. Whoa. Yeah, I'll have. I don't quote me on that, but you well, can Google it. I mean, yeah. Okay. It was it. a good song. It was. And anyway, he played at Junior X. And because he went to this high school. Right. The same high school as Jerusha. Um, doop a doop. As I am a dancer, I was asked to choreograph the boys chorus line. We did a spoof of Swan Lake with all the guys in tutus and one swan that was shot by a hunter at the end. Oh, <laughs> I performed a tap routine and was part of the girls' chorus. It's always a lot of stress leading up to the event, but everyone always has fun and loves it. What I have never understood is why we then had prom immediately after. A lot of people are sweaty and gross after the performance. Girls have falling down hair and have to retouch makeup and freshen up. We would go into the locker rooms, change into our fancy evening wear, and walk down the hall to the cafeteria. What a weird tradition. I, I thought that as well. I was like, I never thought about that, but yeah. 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 I was always thinking, wow, these people have to like then change into their prom like, attire. Like formal attire. Yeah. Because it took me a long time to get ready and like I would never be able to do that. Rewind Boy. or fast forward to my date. I didn't have a boyfriend at the time. I was sort of interested in a guy who I was in band with. Let's call him B. It was February and the time was running short to get a prom date. B was a year behind me, so I knew I would have to ask him myself. I casually asked if he wanted to go as a platonic date. He accepted the invitation, and I was nervous as hell. We went out in the middle of the afternoon for dinner with a group of my friends. Another weird aspect of Junior X is that it starts at 6 on a Friday, I do believe. Oh, I do believe it's on a really Friday. Weird. I could be weird. I could be... Um, it may have been a Saturday, but... Um, or so you couldn't go out, eat a normal time before prom. Also, dates usually attend junior X if they are not in the junior class. As I said, looking back, it seems super weird. I perform, we go to the prom, and we have a great time as friends. And then after prom, we go to another local restaurant for snacks. Since B was a year younger and didn't have a license, I was the driver. No one did limos for junior prom, again, because of the bizarre performance prior to the prom. Makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yeah. On the way home, I screwed up the cor- oh, not corsage. I screwed up the courage to tell him I liked him and asked him out. His response, silence. Oh, no. Oh, man. Luckily, we were close to his house, so I only had to suffer my mortification for a few minutes in silence. He hugged me, told me he would see me at school on Monday, and got out. I drove home with my cheeks blazing and my embarrassment seeping from my pores. What was I thinking? Why did I do that? After a lot of back and forth and hemming and hawing, B and I started going out a few weeks later. Oh, wow. That's cool. We ended up dating all through high school and into college, where we kept up our long distance relationship for a few years. I learned that you don't have to wait for someone else to make a move. If you are interested in someone, take the leap and tell them. That courage is why I ended up married to my husband. That's amazing, Jerusha. That is amazing. It is. Seriously. Do it. Right. Take, take the plunge. Right. Do it. Because he was a year younger, I ended up going to his junior and senior prom, and he came to my senior prom. All four proms were a ton of fun. No problems, no fighting, just good, pure fun. My mom made my dress for three of the four proms. Oh, that's so cool. So, no worries about another girl having my dress. She hand sequined my junior prom dress. Oh, my gosh. Holy Moses. That's amazing. My senior prom dress was a Vera Wang pattern and is my favorite dress after my wedding dress. Oh, which she also made. Oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. Oh, how nice. For his junior prom, we went full classy, breakfast at Tiffany style. For his senior prom, it was dress off the rack, but I felt like a sophisticated older woman, all of 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> B and I stayed friends in adulthood. He is now a working musician. He is now a working musician. I can't say musician. Musician? musician. No, you can't. Musician. I can't say it. Musician. Musician. I can't say it. Musician. I can't say musician. What the hell? Why can't I say it? Musician. Nope. <laughs> musician. Musician. I can't say it. It's like you're trying to say magician. <laughs> musician. 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 You, yeah, you did it. Musician. You did it. Musician. 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 <laughs> Musician. Musician. Wait, how? 
Musician. Musician. Yeah. Okay. Did it. <laughs> um, Nailed it. <laughs> um, so he was now a working musician. I did it. <laughs> Living on the West Coast with his wife and daughter. His mom lives nearby and I go out to dinner with her occasionally. Oh, that's nice. We even put together a music mix for the reception at my wedding. Oh, I know not everyone had a positive experience with proms. I hope that someday my kids have the same amount of fun and friendship I found in these events. I also hope that someday I find someone to wear one of my dresses to their own prom. Jerusha. Oh, oh Jerusha, I love you. And I, I miss love you. you too. I can't wait to see you again soon. I know. Soon. Look at these dresses. So beautiful. She's wearing a top hat and a cane. Oh, she she actually texted me about that because when we were talking about my date wearing a top hat and cane, she's like, mine did too. And and I don't believe it was 1997. No, I think though. it was 98. No, because Jerusha, is she is she a year older than us? Uh, she yeah, I think is. She's this, okay, she is. Yes. So it would have been 98 that we both went to the same one. I don't know because I feel like it was in the fall. Well, she went to senior prom ninety eight, so he was he, he must, was a senior. he was a senior. Okay, so she went to junior prom ninety seven. Yes, he was yeah. a junior, and he and he was a junior. She, he was a junior. And she was a senior because she went to sen- they went to senior prom ninety seven. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. And you went to the one in ninety eight, right? Right. I yeah. believe so. I believe it was ninety eight. Jerusha, you know, if it was fall, then it was ninety seven. If it was after Christmas, it was 98. But he was a junior when we were seniors. Correct. So it would have been 98. March 98. Okay. He was a junior ex. Okay, so it's March? She said it was, they were in March. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you so much, Jerusha, for Jerusha, sharing you're that. amazing. You you're know amazing. we love you. We love you so much. And I love all of your dresses. They're Look beautiful. at you and your sophisticated lady with the is it with the gloves? Is that the one she wore? Yes. I love that he's dipping you. That's so cute. I know. Uh, and I wonder if I know your date. Like I wonder if I know him. I know. Like I wonder that too. Text me and tell me who it is. We won't I, like share it. We won't share it. But yes. And also we text me and let me know if you're going to Fenway because I want to see you. Oh, that too. So all right. Thank you, Jerusha. Thank you, Jerusha. All right. I'm going to read Yay. the next one, which is Yay. Charlene's prom story. Charlene. We love Charlene. Yes. She is. We get to see her in Fenway. Amazing. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. Oh, okay. She writes, hello, my main ladies. You wanted prom stories? Here's my 1998 senior prom story. My last semester of senior year, I was pretty set on being single. Kissing all the cute boys. Okay, not all, but a lot. <laughs> with prom looming, I thought the best thing to do would be to go with my guy best friend, Al. We only had two high schools, and he went to the other one. We met playing soccer for our city back when I was in eighth grade, and he was in seventh. We talked all the time on the phone. I gave him girl advice. We liked the same music, and we were just great friends. That's amazing, That's by the really way. Cool. That is cool. We decided to go to my prom together, and he joked... I should get one of the Dumb and Dumber Chuckses. Oh, my gosh. My school actually had them. Someone donated like 30 mint green ruffle shirted oh my God. to the show choir, and he borrowed one for the dance. That's amazing. For some strange reason, our prom was always at hotels in Palm Springs. What? An hour east of us. A group of us were headed to prom together in a big old suburban, photo attached. We couldn't even get dinner before because my friend's date was so late. Oh, no. We got to the La Quinta Inn of Palm Springs, took photos, danced to all those sweet 90s jams, and had a blast. Did you dance to, I will never find another lover (laughs) sweeter than you, sweeter than you? (laughs) Okay, that song used to make me laugh so much. I did not like that song. I thought it was weird. Close to me, you're like my brother. Close to me, you're like my mother. Close to me, you're like my son. Close to me, you're like my sister. (laughs) Not in that order. You're the only one in my everything. And for you, the song I sing. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. Uh, About halfway through, my girl BFF asked, so do you think you're going to make out with Al? Oh. Oh. That's quite the loaded question. Yeah. 
I literally did not even think of that. She mentioned she mentioned she thought I would since it was prom and all, but it didn't even cross my mind. With the rest of the night, I kept contemplating. Am I going to make out with Al? <laughs> After all these years of friendship, should we go there? I got my answer via song. We were dancing. Then the DJ mixed it to a slow song. We came together. We were slow dancing. And I listened to the song that was playing. It was Janet Jackson, Let's Wait a While. I love that song. Love it. This was my sign. Janet Jackson was telling me I should not make out with Al at prom. So I didn't. Since my group didn't make it to dinner before the dance, we figured we'd eat afterward. But then we missed the off ramp where we saw the Denny's from the freeway. Oh, no. Instead, we ended up getting food from Taco Bell. Oh. I love me some Taco Bell, though. Same, same. Yep. We had Taco Bell for prom night. As a whole, we did have a wonderful time and are still friends to this day. Love you guys. Hashtag forever friends. Hashtag LBC to Bangor. Hashtag cross country friend. Charlene. Charlene, I love you so much. I love her. And look at her pictures. She looks beautiful. Beautiful. As, As always. As always. As always. She's a stunner. And actually, looking at the pictures, the picture of like all of her like friends, they're all stunners. Yes. I was trying to see what the girl in the green is wearing because she has like an umbrella. Or what do you call that? A parasol. She has a parasol. And she's dressed like a Southern Belle. She is. That's pretty cool. I love it. And I like her uh, dates tux. With a top hat. That, I guess Where that the I guess that was a thing in 1998. Maybe that was a trend. Obviously. I mean, I guess. Obviously. <laughs> Charlene, you know we love you. Love you. Thank you so much. Yes. D- I don't think I mentioned he had tails as well. I almost mentioned it. <laughs> when I mentioned the top hat and the cane, uh, yeah, I almost said he him, had tails. Tails for days. Yep, he had tails. Thank you, Charlene. The next story is Andrea's prom story. Ooh, Andrea. Thanks. Let's set the stage right here. May 3rd, 1997. Junior senior prom. It was my senior year. The prom colors were purple, black, and silver. Yes. Yes. Bring it in. I would have loved it. Make it last forever was the theme with the song 33 by the Smashing Pumpkins. I wore a red sequin dress. I remember wearing the perfume Tommy Girl. Hey. I love Tommy Girl. I had a total 90s updo. My boyfriend and handsome date dressed in a black tux accented with a black and red paisley printed bow tie and pocket square. He picked me up at my house in his red Honda Prelude with black tinted windows. We exchanged our corsage and boutonniere, took pictures, and were off to dinner with friends at a restaurant. After dinner and before the dance, we had a grand march in the high school gym where family and spectators could come and check out all the couples as they are all introduced and got to watch the first dance and then take pictures. That's a really cool idea. That is kind of cool. Time for the dance. The prom went from 8 p.m. till 12 a.m. We had a DJ that provided the music, videos, and karaoke machine. You had karaoke at your prom? I would have been all over that. That's amazing. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. On repeat. On repeat. Doop doop. I have many photos of friends doing karaoke, which was so fun. Our awesome chemistry teacher, RIP, doing the Macarena. A couple very bad selfies, i.e., faces cut off, eyes closed, because you had to like. You, it was very hard to take yes. selfies with those disposable cameras. All I used to do is I remember if you can see yourself looking in that little the little thing, the little thing in the middle, then you, it was going to come out. Doop doop. I.e., faces cut off, eyes closed, taken with my disposable camera. I've included our professional prom photo. The parents sponsored an after prom party. We were bused to a city about 45 minutes away from our small hometown. We went to a large arcade and had pizza prizes, road bumper cars, and play games. So That's cool. amazing. Did you do it all in your prom dress? That is what I was I'd wondering like the same thing. The most popular prizes were given out were cell phones and a TV. Okay, so this is kind of like our project graduation. Right. After the arcade, we went to Galactic Bowling and then got home around 6 a.m. According to my 1997 high school yearbook, here's the breakdown of the budget. Tuxedo rental, $78. New dress, 75 to $150. Dinner for two, $20 to $40. Corsage, $16. Boutonniere, $550. Garter. Garter? Was that a thing? Uh, apparently it well, was I for her. because Stacy, that's in our group. Yeah. They had garters. And I was like, that's really cool. I would have loved to do that. I didn't have a garter. Did you have a garter for your wedding? No. I did. I did not. I did. Um, But that was like 2000. I got married in like early 2000s. You got married in the late 2000s. Right. 2009 for me. Yeah. Um, 
I also had a different kind of wedding. Yeah. I didn't want any of the, the tradi- that traditional stuff. Yeah. I just wanted, like, I wanted it kind of basic. Yeah. It was pretty elaborate, though. It was? Yeah. Well, my mom went all out with the, dec- with the yeah, decor. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it was at, like, a really nice place, too. It was. I wanted it, I wanted, I, I wanted it to be a certain way, but I didn't want to do, like, I didn't, they had to, like, I didn't want to throw the bouquet. Like, I didn't want to do any of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, yeah. I did it because I pictured my wedding always to be like my sister's wedding. So Your wedding, it was, you were the first one to get married of like right, our, us friends. Right. Your wedding was like start to finish. It was a ball. It was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Chris was talking about it today. Oh, really? Yeah, Kevin's brother. It was a lot of fun. He was like, that was a whirlwind of a day. Well, and it was. It was hotter than hell. It was. And I had a blister from... We both did from the stupid tanning beds. Yes, on my chin. Oh, God. Was, I looked purple. You're turning violet, Violet. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Prom glass. Oh, prom glass. Ooh, what's a $6 prom glass? $6.25. Hmm. After prom party ticket, $3. That's reasonable. Decorations, <laughs> music, etc. $2,172. Wow, back oh. then that was like, whoa. And a fun twist. Eventually marrying your handsome prom date. Aww, oh, they priceless. got married. That's amazing. Thanks for letting me share my prom story. It was so fun to reminisce. Andrea, that dress she's is like. She's a that, She's a runner. She's a track star. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's not. It's as. But like, what a handsome couple. I'm TikToked out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep. Like red shoes to match. Like were they stunning. The, were they the diables? I don't know. They probably were because they look like they match exactly right to her dress. Beautiful. The only problem I ever had with diables, I wore them at my sister's wedding and they turned my feet like teal. I really? Think I do, or my toes were like teal or yeah. something. I mean, that makes sense. Because my feet sweat. Wow. And even back then when I was nine, <laughs> I've always been a sweater. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. That was Andrea, awesome, thank Andrea. You so thank much. you. All right. I'm going to read our last prom story of the season. Okay. I can't wait to do this again, but I'm excited. It'll be in a year. Yes. Um, this is Katie's prom story. Yay. And she writes, I've been meaning to send this in. Let's preface this by saying I was a super goody two shoes as a teen. Junior year, I actually had a boyfriend at the time prom came around. I was all about church and youth group and definitely planned on saving myself for Mr. Wright. My boyfriend was from a different state and lived a couple hours away from me. Definitely went to a different school and he was a senior. At both our schools, juniors and seniors were allowed and underclassmen were only if your date was a junior or senior. For anonymity reasons, I will call my date John. Okay. John's mom had been a longtime friend of one of my older female cousins. So we kind of knew each other before high school. His mom started dating one of my other male cousins and we started dating as well. His mom ultimately married my much older, more like an uncle cousin. So in the long run, my prom date was my cousin (laughs) by marriage. (laughs) My prom came first that year and he and his family came down to my house for him to take me to my prom. My best friend was also a good girl, but maybe had a little bit of a reputation for being way more flirtatious than me. Anyway, John did not know her or her date. We will call them Amy and Rick. Amy, Rick and I were all active in church and youth group. Let me, let me reiterate, John, my date, had never met Amy or Rick, like ever, until that night. The four of us went to a nice dinner at a very expensive restaurant. We had a great time and continued that good time at the prom. I had also already agreed to go with him to his senior prom, where I too only knew a few people, but I knew them well enough to have fun. Anyway, following my prom, but prior to John's prom, it's so weird telling this and not using real names, but anyway, mm-hmm. in the time between my prom and his, I found out that sometime on the night of my prom, Probably while Amy and I were goofing off in the bathroom or something, John had said to Rick, hey, I know Katie doesn't put out, but does Amy? What? (laughs) This sounds like a teen soap. It does sound like Like a teen soap. Yes. I'm like, who the heck does he think he is asking such a question? Rick was actually in seminary class. Oh, my gosh. Going to college to become a preacher. And I was mortified and pissed off. But instead of calling John out on it, I waited until his prom to show my dissatisfaction. Hey, that's how you do it. I let him think everything was fine until we actually got to his prom that night. He also gave me another reason to be mad at him on top of my already holding a grudge for him asking about my friend. 
He showed up to get me and he reeked of alcohol. Like he hadn't even bothered with a shower. What? But anyway, I had a plan. We walked in together and every time he tried to hold my hand, I would move my purse to the hand nearest the side he was on. If you were going to ask inappropriate questions about my friend, you aren't holding my hand. I thought to myself. I danced with him enough to be mad that he smelled like he slept in last night's keg. Then I danced with every other cute guy there and gave John the complete cold shoulder without any explanation as to why. I just told him to figure it out for himself on what he did wrong. I ended things shortly after that, still not telling him why I was mad at his prom. Ultimately, he ended up going to my college after I'd been there a few years, and Uh-oh. I would actively avoid him if I saw him on campus. Awkward. Like, turn and walk the other direction. <laughs> I think we did go get lunch somewhere at least once during college, and maybe I did end up telling him that it's not nice to ac- ask sexually inappropriate questions to people you know absolutely nothing about and embarrass your date to her friends by being, by being a tacky, classless hornball of a teen. <laughs> and maybe I didn't. <laughs> I don't remember if I ever told him or not. Anyway, he is now a middle school guidance counselor <laughs> or administrator of some sort, and all I can think of is him offering candy to little girls like a sick perv. Oh, God. Hopefully he has outgrown that behavior. Oh, my God. She inserted the laughing, emotions. like, cry eye yes. emojis yes so but that escalated all very in, quickly all in good fun <laughs> but that did escalate very quickly yes. <laughs> that was that was a whirlwind that right there was a whirlwind. that was just like 15 it really like was. when what's his name was drunk he'd matt? have the bottle matt was matt, matt was attached to the bottle. The varsity basketball player yeah the star and player Ashley was the like oh matt oh matt <laughs> I, I hate it, Ashley. You know what I hate him more? What? Courtney. Oh, I don't like her either. Courtney, you are a sad sack. Get out of there. <laughs> Dylan doesn't want you. You know oh who was gosh. cool? Who? Brooke. Because she was a B. She was such a B. And she gave no 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 fucks. I loved Billy. You loved Billy because I loved Billy. He was cute. Yeah. And then look what he became. <laughs> Look what he did. I saw Billy and I was like, oh, I like him. I didn't like Billy. I thought Billy was annoying and not cute. Ryan. Uh, I was just going to say Ryan Gosling. No. Oh, now him. Ryan. Hello. Ryan Reynolds. Hello. Really? I'm, I'm not. I, I, listen. Okay. He's I'm not a bad looking guy. No. He definitely grew into himself. You wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crackers. Never. However, on a list... Okay. Of like ten hot guys. He's not on your list. He would be like a he would be like number nine or ten. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Like that TikTok. What TikTok? There's a TikTok of like send this to your best friend and see which one they'd pick and there's like one through ten. Mm-hmm. And I think he was on it. And he would be like he would be like on the lowest. I was all about Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd was the first one on the TikTok and I was all about it. And then it got to the end to John Krasinski, like how he is now, all buff. Oh my! And I was God. like, "Hello, hello, hi there." I was all about Paul Rudd until I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hiccups. Jim, you grew up. I'm trying to think who my like crushes are, like for Hollywood. Not, I have a lot. Not crushes, but who I think's hot. Um. Well, Ryan Reynolds. Sure. Um, John Cusack. Okay. Back in 1985, 86. Yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. I really liked him in um, Serendipity. Okay. I love I like that movie. Um, I can't think right now, but yeah. I can think very well. Okay. I want to hear yours. Um, Paul Rudd, always. Okay. Always. Uh, like, honestly, Adam Driver, there's something about him that just <laughs> drives me wild. <laughs> I love him. Oh, and I mean, there's there's a lot, there's a lot, List and I em. see them on TikTok. List them? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, so. I got one. Christian Slater. I love Obvi- him. I, oh my god. Classic. He is a classic. Oh, MG, especially Heather's Christian Slater. Hello. So Pete and I were talking. This was a couple weeks ago about who, like who we are attracted to that like the other wouldn't guess we were attracted to. Yeah. So Adam Driver was mine. And he was like, I knew that, though. Oh, really? I, I guess so, because the only time I ever want to watch Star Wars or like I pay attention is when Kylo Ren's on. Oh, <laughs> so. Um, so there's that. But. I'm drawing a blank. OK, that's fine. No, it's not fine. It's very important because he is everything. And I forgot his name. Oh, he's that much of everything. Oh, 
I had it, and then I started talking about Ben Solo. See, like, I don't like. I don't know. Like, I see. I see. Like, a good looking dude. And I'm like, Ryan Reynolds is like top three for me. Really? Ryan, top three? Yes. I think it's because he's funny. Like, I think he's like. I like funny guys. Right. I think they're funny, and I think they're handsome when they're funny. So, I'm a big fan of funny guys. And I just had to look at because all I could all I was thinking is Barry, Barry, you know, Barry, 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 Bill Hader, Barry from the HBO show. Barry, he's Barry. I've never seen that. Bill Hader from SNL. Bill Hader. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. I okay. love him so much. And Pete Davidson. Oh, OK. I love Pete Shotgun Davidson. Shotgun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly. Can I tell you, I, I had a dream about Machine Gun Kelly Sorry, a couple ago. I meant Machine Gun Kelly, but I don't know why I said Shotgun. Um, when he mm. was in the dirt, mm-hmm. <laughs> Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee, hello, Tommy Lee. Yes, yes, I'm down with Tommy Lee. I am yes, down. I am down. Um, I had a dream about Machine Gun Kelly a couple nights ago. Oh, you did? Yes. It was so weird, but we, we it was a budding romance. Oh, that's nice. It was so weird. I heard this TikTok where he, like, as a kid, would always take a chair with him, like a like a collapsible chair, you know, like the yes, lawn chair. Yes, I saw that TikTok. And he'd like and he'd sit like in the chair. <laughs> like it's cool. I like it. I think it's funny. He was a different kind of kid. But then he was like not so nice to a girl. He like ghosted her, or like she said to him he's like she's like okay sis and he was like don't you ever call me that again and then like didn't talk to her anymore i mean i don't know him i can see him doing that but i don't know him <laughs> i mean she didn't mean to say okay sis she just like it, it was just, like a yeah it was just like a like it came off like, right right a reflex it rolled off her tongue right right the she, reflex <laughs> that was a good episode of prom story yes it was i had so much fun thank you guys so much yes um so we'll do that again next year maybe yeah if we get stories if we get stories yeah and if not maybe we'll do graduation stories oh that would be fun i like that idea yeah so anyway thanks guys we yeah. love you we love you very much we should do we, look, send us your summertime stories yeah. i want to hear summertime like stories. summer vacation summer break yes, stories I see yeah not, like, i want to see them i want to hear them i thought you said summer of sam N- and no, i was like i don't, I, I don't want to hear those no, stories no, i don't want to hear that story now <laughs> um but yeah no we love you Send us the summer story. Send us new kids on the block story. Send us NSYNC story. Send yes. us all the boy band stories. Yes. Um, and maybe we'll do this again. Maybe we'll do this again outside. Who watched the Friends reunion? I haven't watched it yet. I watched it last night and it was so good, you guys. Mandy had like a party. I saw it. It was, it so, was cute. so cute. It was adorable. I just watched it by myself. But I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And I'm just going to say, I'm not like, no spoilers. But you guys, Ross and Rachel, if you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. I died. That's it. Now I need to watch it. You do need to watch it. It's so good. I think I might watch it again tonight. You need to watch it. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.